another wonderful aspect of this job is that we often get to travel, to see this wonderful country all over the continent. I went up north recently to the Yukon, oh, right? Oh, they treated me so well. They took me dog sledding. Yes. If you ever get a chance, please jump at it. Dog sledding is, without a doubt, the most majestic way to get dragged through dog shit. <laughs> Just top tier. And the show I was doing up there was a fundraiser for prostate cancer awareness, which again, wonderful. Love to be able to do the thing that I love and give back to an incredible cause, but the woman who booked the cause, she was just like a little bit too into the combination. Comedy. Prostate cancer awareness. She decorated the hall, but rather than regular balloons, she had blown up blue surgical gloves. Yeah, you know, just to be like, do you get it? <laughs> Butts. Yeah. And I could tell that she really wanted me to tailor my set to the material. Mostly because she said, I really want you to tailor your set. <laughs> you know, she was like, I think the subject matter is rife. Just get in there. Really let us have it. We can handle it. We're mature. Get in there. I think it's going to be great. And I was like, yeah, yeah, cool, 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 cool. Just to check. The subject matter is still prostate cancer? <laughs> the thing of it is, I have this huge bias against prostate exam jokes. The whole time I've been doing comedy, there's this widespread misconception that fabulous lady comics are like myself. <laughs> we only talk about periods. <laughs> the first club show I ever did, I walked out on stage and a woman in the audience said, ugh, a girl. If she does one period joke, I am leaving. Right? It was very hard to hear. I was not planning on doing menstruation jokes. I did really want her to leave. get it. I get where the idea comes from. You know, comedy is about connection. You don't want to alienate anyone in the audience. And a period is something that only 800 million people on the planet will ever experience. It is only half the reason any of us are even here. It's like, be relatable. <laughs> but that bias it doesn't go the other way. Every male road comic I know over 40 does a bit about his prostate exam, and the whole bit is like, he got one. <laughs> they drag it out. They're like, you should have seen the size of this guy's hands. I mean, it's like, it's like, it's like buy me dinner first, doc. And every time I hear one of those jokes, I think the same thing. Aww. <laughs> Was somebody a little bit inside of you for a second? <laughs> medical professional who went to school for a decade, specifically trained so that that procedure is relatively painless and also might save your life? <laughs> I can't imagine. I can imagine, say like a, like a 15-year-old hangnail connoisseur. <laughs> with all the fervor and dexterity of a rabid squirrel trying to open a bag of chips.
cool story, bro. 